With vivid colors, Melvin Detroit paints to engage with people. My paintings are self-portraits in that they are a metaphor for the way that a mind works. Abstraction means to me the possibility for inventing. You are giving birth to a piece that has never been seen before. I take my tools, my elements and principles of design, I build an image profile from those. It's all about how it all pulls together from those elements, those ideas that have been given to you, not from the natural world, but from an abstract world. The Bauhaus has been a big influence on me. If I was a student and I, was, and I came to the Bauhaus, I would think that I had landed on Mount Olympus. They are those gods that have given us a modern point of view. I would go back to a painting by Malevich. He was a Russian artist. He painted a painting called Black Square. This is ground zero point for abstraction. Uh, it's a metaphor for jumping off. Figurative and work drawn from nature is the opposite. It's taking something from nature and reproducing it, whereas abstraction does not reproduce nature. Abstraction creates its own reality. The truth of what the Bauhaus brought to me was very strong because collectively they represented uh, a new way of thinking. The metaphor in my work would be dig the trench deeper. So what I mean by that is get, get more engaged more refinement, more skill, more, as I'm doing the work, more ways of learning about how work proceeds. Even though it's improvisational, it's still structured. I don't feel like I'm doing a finished piece of work. I'm doing an experiment that will move work along. There are so many existing similarities in this work that it needs to move into a different direction. Chroma is very direct. You're standing in front of Chroma, you take it in. It's like looking at something that's symbolic. An echo is a speculation. It's like making a new language. There are a lot of elements in Echo that are small moments. You have the opportunity to wander in a painting. I've been working on a piece called The Unfolding of Abstraction, which could ultimately be a one kilometer painting that represents how the mind of an abstract artist works as they move through images and as they move through processes. So, sort of like a mind clicking away. Like I, I'm thinking of this now and it gives me the opportunity to quickly change it if I want. It will actually be, in a way, a retrospective because it will have shown in one, in one canvas the evolution of work over time.
the colors have a balance. If I choose the colors and I bring them up to a certain level, then they will vibrate with their own truth. And then the negotiation is what's going to be the next color. So then that color has to come up and vibrate or work with the previous color. Color is in my DNA. However, it's so intuitive. Where does it come from? It simply sometimes floats in. It's an aha moment. It comes out of nowhere. But then because of all the knowledge and experience, you can collect all of that nowhere into somewhere, which then becomes the work. What I'm making are a lot of remnants of my life, my life force through my work. And I get up in the morning and I think, oh, well, you need to rekindle the life force. And you go into the studio and you rekindle the life force. And then beyond that, you can bring it out into the world and help somebody else to maybe rekindle their life force. The fact that I, I can go and I can invent something is an incredible emotional experience. It's hard out here being an artist. And, you know, we spend a lot of time, a lot of alone time in a studio. Your job is your work. And your engagement is with that piece you're working on. It's, it's not talking to you. It's not, you know, telling you jokes and having a drink at the water fountain. It, it's an engagement. I have to do it.